Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Just figured I'd make a quick tutorial video on uh, basically an overview video of what Twitter is, how to use it, and some of the basic features of it if you haven't used it before. So when you first log into Twitter, you're going to see this, and this is the home page that you'll see whenever you're logged into Twitter. It displays a bunch of different a bunch of different uh, things, uh, including right here is your timeline. This is where all the tweets of people that you're following are going to appear. So you can scroll down, and I'm only following one person, which is myself. So you'll only see uh, basic tweets from me or anything that I've retweeted with my personal account. So these are all the tweets from people that you're following. If you look over here, you'll see how many tweets that you have on your account. And in my case, it's 41 at the time of this video. And you can see your the most recent your most recent tweet. And uh, below that, you can see how many people you're following and who who they are if you hover over, and how many followers you have. If you're looking for some more people to follow, you can actually click Browse Interests or Find Friends. Browse Interests basically takes you to this page right here. Uh, gives you some categories and some interesting people that you can follow. You can also view suggested users, which is u which are users that Twitter suggests for you to follow. And you can actually find friends from your Gmail account, Yahoo account, uh, a bunch of other accounts. Okay, so. Since uh, if you're new to Twitter, you'll actually see something like this, what's next, and it'll give you basically some next steps that you can do to better uh, enhance your Twitter experience. You can set up mobile notifications to your cell phone, uh, download a Twitter application if you have a smartphone such as an iPhone or Android phone, and you can actually better write your or set up your profile, including setting up a profile picture, which I don't have, it's the standard Twitter um, default profile picture, as well as write a short biography about yourself. If you come down here, um, since since this Twitter account doesn't have many uh, followers or is relatively new, you can still see the find friends thing. And below that is actually, this is for everyone, it has trending topics, which are some of the most popular topics that are being talked about on Twitter. Um, and the ones that have a promoted next to them are, uh, have actually been paid for. But this is just a way to see, you know, what, what's going on, most tweeted things on Twitter. And uh, it's a good way to find out news if something like major news story comes up. Uh, usually, or sometimes, it appears in the trends list. Next to that is who to follow, some suggestions, some people that might be similar to you. Um, and you can just click on their profile if you want to see them or follow them right out. So if you actually want to make a tweet yourself, all you need to do is click on this text box under what's happening. And you can actually type your tweet up to 140 characters and then click on the Tweet button. When you do that, the tweet will appear down here. And then your followers, anybody that's following your Twitter account, will receive it in their timeline. If you'd like to make the tweet a favorite, you just simply hover over the tweet and click on the favorite. Um, you can at reply somebody, and then you can actually delete the tweet, which we'll do here. OK, so if you, if you want to follow somebody, all you need to do is click on their profile or go to a link to them. We'll go down here. Now we can see Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, he's quite popular. He has almost a million followers. He has 872,376 at the time of this video. And uh, he's actually a verified account, meaning this is the real account for Gary Vaynerchuk. If there's anybody else with Gary Vaynerchuk on here, and they don't have this little checkbox, they are not the real Gary Vaynerchuk. OK, so if you want to follow Gary Vaynerchuk or another user, all you need to do is click on this Follow button right here. What that'll do is that'll that'll make it so that his tweets appear in your timeline. Let's see if they're, oh, they're not there yet, but they'll appear in your timeline. And it'll also give you some uh, people that might be similar to Gary Vaynerchuk that you may want to follow as well. Um, you can also choose to, when you follow someone, choose to have the tweets sent to your mobile phone in a form of a text message. Um, they're free, but any carrier charges do apply. And you can also make it so that any tweets that this user may retweet from other users will appear in your Twitter timeline as well. Um, as you can see on this, you can see that this is um, the name of the person, Gary Vaynerchuk, their, u their Twitter username, as well as their location, and then this is their biography, as well as a link. Um, and you can see it's basic information about this person, uh, including that he's tweeted for over 45,000 times. He has he is following over 13,000 people, has 872,000 followers, and has been put on 13,000 people's lists. You can see down here um, who else, any of your friends that are, might be following this user, as well as who this user is actually following.
And then down here is just a suggestion list, you know, some people that are similar to him, to Gary Vaynerchuk. Okay, so when we go back to our main Twitter page, you can see that now we're following Gary Vaynerchuk. Uh, his tweets still aren't in my um, timeline. But anyway, once you're on the back to your home page, if you'd like to view some more information about somebody, like let's take my personal Twitter profile right here. I tweeted about a new blog post about how to configure Facebook privacy settings and included a link. So if I want to see some more information about myself and as well as this post, all I need to do is click on this and it'll uh, it'll show some basic information. Uh, like my current tweet right here, the ability to favorite, retweet, or reply, how long ago it was, and it'll also show some of the more recent tweets for me as well. If I click on this right here, I can actually view my full profile or a preview of my profile, and then if I want to view my full profile, I click on here, and it'll take me to my full profile. Um, so this is basically a quick rundown of the different things on Twitter. Um, one thing that I, I didn't mention in this video yet is at mentions, or at previously known as at replies. This is if someone types, for example, an at sign and then your Twitter username. So my personal username is at Jamie MCG. So an at symbol before the username will make it so that the user will see this in their at mentions tab. If you don't include the at, it'll just, just um, show Jamie MCG. It won't be linked to my account, and I won't see it unless I actually go to uh, the Technical Cafe Twitter page. So this is useful if you want to send someone a message. So all you need to do is type at Jamie MCG space, and then the message that you'd like to send to uh, to my personal account. So if you click on this, it'll if I click click tweet, it'll actually get sent. It'll appear in my timeline for my followers to see, and I will myself when I log into my personal account will be able to see it by clicking on the at mentions. A retweet is something that basically you click on. If I wanted to retweet this where I said doing some homework, I'd click retweet, and then it would get added to my timeline as if as if I posted it. So. If a user was going through their timeline, they'd say, oh, Jamie retweeted somebody else. So that's basically if you just want to copy a tweet over to you, uh, over to yours, your your Twitter account. And it's uh, pretty cool if someone posted something interesting or some cool information, you just retweet it and other users will be able to see it. Um, anyway, this is uh, just some basic Twitter inf information. There's also lists, which I didn't go over, but that's pretty self-explanatory. You can set custom lists for... Uh, different people based on, you know, whatever you want. So, this is just a basic overview of Twitter. If you'd like more information about Twitter, you should go to the Twitter website and click on the Help uh, section, where you can find a bunch of information more in depth. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching this video, and please feel free to subscribe if you like it and want to see more. And please feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg um, for, you know, up-to-date information as to what I'm doing. Anyway, thank you for watching.